I wanted to uh, do a video of, of uh, insulating a refrigerator for uh, outdoor. This is my garage. It gets really hot in here in the summer. It's Fresno. It gets hot in here. So um, I wanted to show you this. I started it before I thought about making a video. So there you go. But I found this fridge on the, on the side of the road. It was one of those junk day fridges where somebody kept it in their garage forever and then pitched it. But it does work. And uh, it's keeping my drinks cold right now. But it's really working hard. You can, it kicks on all the time. And you can tell it's older, less efficient. It had a... Um, this is one of those fridges from the top of a convenience store counter or something, so it had this glass on it. And the glass isn't very efficient, but that way people could see what was in there without opening it. Um, and uh, basically with these fridges, you've got an insulated door, an insulated side side and top and bottom panels. And then in the back, you've got the... Uh, this panel is probably just an insulated panel too, although it's pretty warm. So it might actually have some of the, the other parts in it. Um, but these ones, you can actually feel the, the temperature difference. I mean, they're cool to the touch, and that front door panel was terrible. It was really cold, so it was obviously bleeding a lot of heat or a lot of a lot of cold. And then this part down here is warm because it's it's got the uh, compressor in it. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna blow the uh, the these radiators radiate the heat away. So I'm gonna blow those out and clean them out so that they um, they get better airflow, be more efficient. Um, and then I'm gonna stick this two inch foam all the way around. And you can see, I just bought the Insultech or Insul foam from a hardware store, two inch is the thickest I could get. I'm putting the, I'm putting the reflective side on the inside and I'm gonna do all the external panels, probably not the back. Um, and then, so this front panel is already attached. I've got the, uh, the foil tape on it. This, and I can actually feel the cold right here on this gap of the foil tape. So um, I'm gonna put another, the, the, this top panel will come across and cover to here. This side panel is going to cover up to the edge of it here like this so that I can get this insulated gap. And then this panel over here is going to actually come out to about the gap of the door because the door is going to, got to be able to open. So it's going to come out to where this basically comes up to it. And uh, so I'll, uh, I'll take another video of it when it's uh, complete. But, but you just want to cut the foam to fit, tape it on. Okay, I've uh, pulled the back panel off. You can see all the dust from accumulated years of... Uh, use, but I'm just going to take my air gun. I'm going to blow all this dust out. Blow this is the the uh, radiator. I'm going to blow that out as best as I can, trying to get all this junk out of here. I run the vacuum over it first, just to suck out the majority of the dust before I blow it off. Otherwise, it's really dusty. But I got my dust mask on, keep the dust out of my face and lungs. You always want to be safe. But uh, that's basically the internals. You got the compressor, fan to keep the radiator cool, and uh, that's basically it. Also, I'll video it once it's dusted clean. So I cleaned the dust out of the back panel. It doesn't look a lot cleaner, but it had a lot of dust in it. So that's all clean now. I'm gonna put the panel back on, and then I'll show you pictures of it after I've got all the insulation on and installed and everything. Well, here it is. Fully, uh, basically done. Uh, can't really do a whole lot more to it. Uh, I've got two inch foam all the way around. You can see over here where I Mismeasured by a half an inch, so measure twice, cut once, right? So that that side was 24 and a half in the back, and this I cut this to 24. Just got an angle at it. it makes me feel kind of dumb, but anyways, it still works. It's not quite as critical because it's still overlapping by this much onto there, so it's fully covering the top. So I'm really worried about it, but in the corner. But uh, I took the door and I just put a rope on it through the old door. I taped the seam in here, so that was sealed. Lots of beer. It's always good. Um, I taped the leading edges out here with duct tape so that they would uh, not get beat up too badly because this foam's pretty delicate. So I taped all those around. And I've got it against the wall this way so that this, um, where this needs a lot of airflow. So if you put it up against this wall, it's going to, it's going to be hot and it's not, it's going to cut down your efficiency. So I've got it over to this gap where I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to block it this way and it'll have hopefully better airflow. We always stack fridges against the wall, but fridges do need cooling, so they need to give us. There has to be a gap behind the fridge for it to cool. Um, so out here, where it's going to be really warm, I want to get a lot of. I want to have a lot of airflow, so I can really blow air past that. Anyways, there it is. That's how you uh, super insulate a fridge. Uh, fairly easy. It's not pretty, but it's uh, pretty efficient. So that's it. I uh, hope it helps.